Good morning guys, how's it going? James here from Cardio Etc. Um, hope that time lapse wasn't too boring for you, it was probably quite long, but yeah, how's it going guys? Um, so today, as you may have already gathered, I am working on the subwoofer box for the C5 Corvette. So I, what did I just do? I think I started by measuring up, making the back wall, making the donut piece and then sort of assembling it and in between steps I uh, cut up a piece of core flute got the profile of the inside piece and so now this thing is all entirely glued and brad nailed together and I've put some masking tape around some sections where there's still wet glue just because I don't want to put any on the uh, car and this thing just goes like oh wait I put the 45 in there that needs to come out this thing just goes like this and it matches the wall it's a wee bit more off than it used to be obviously when I um, did the nailing of this section here it didn't quite go back into the right position but it's okay it's in all it matters is that it fills in that gap and that it's sitting on itself basically there's weight being distributed here and all the way around here so I may have to modify or redo this a wee bit but you can see what I'm going to be going for Basically after this the next sort of step is to um, start taking sections off and testing it and see if I can get the roof in with the shape that I make and that will give me the side profile of the box and I'll know what I can cut out. Because the walls are going to sit in here and then there's obviously going to be the back and the top. Yeah, I think I need to modify this a wee bit more because it doesn't quite line up now. That's all good, I'll just modify this a wee bit more and then I'll make it fit. Two seconds. Okay, so fix that, that's looking much better now. So now I need to kind of put the roof in and take a guess and see where things, where I think it's gonna sort of go across here. Yeah, there's no real method to it, just a trial and error, I guess. Going there like that. So we know that sits about there. Now what I need to know is with my tape measure. Okay, so this is at the hard part, knowing what I'm looking at. Okay, so for the back, about 43, but how the hell do I measure the front? Because it's all pretty open in here, but there's this thing that has to be accounted for. This big rail. Not sure if you can see that this thing comes down, but all this can be filled in. I honestly don't know, I think I just need to sort of slowly start cutting it away and trying to put this back with it in. Does this still, no it doesn't, okay. Sit that there, get my vivid. I'm just going to slowly start taking chunks off. Okay guys, uh, skipping ahead a wee bit. Sorry, I have to just like do this in blocks because trying to sort of figure things out as I go, you know what I mean? So um, that's pretty much assembled as you saw earlier and I was making the thing out of, I was slowly carving away at this, trying to figure out what could fit under the roof and I've ended up with this piece of 18 mm wood here, which slots perfectly. into there, right? And uh, so now what I'm just working out is what other walls I need to make, where the subwoofer is going to sit. By the way, this line here is exactly what can fit under, whoa, underneath the roof. Um, 
so I can go up to this far, but I'm also having to think about the height of the grill. And so I'm just working out what line I'm gonna be cutting for like the top plane and how it's all gonna be assembled as I go. So that can go all the way up to there if need be. So I'm just trying to decide which one of these lines I want to cut. Cause uh, I think for the sake of it looking good, I'd like the plane to come across and go all the way down and have that smooth transition to finish on the end of it, same as what the amp rack does. So what I then have to think about is that, okay, so this surface here is going to be the top baffle of the subwoofer, which means that the wall would, has to be cut back even further than that. On oh, this, so this is the floor, and so I was thinking, like, well, maybe I want to put a 45 degree cut on that as well, which would mean the line goes even further back. So I'm just sort of slowly working out in my head what I need to do, what pieces and orders I need to do things in. But I think a couple of things I do need to do first is I need to, before I put a 45 degree rabbit around the outside of this, I want, I need to take the, uh, not a rabbit, sorry, a chamfer. I need to take the rabbit bit and do the underside of this floor panel, same as what I did with the amp rack so that I can wrap the carpet around it so that it looks good. But I've uh, assembled it all now, so I can't do it on the table. I have to use a hand router. So I've got a bit of work ahead of me, it's, the end, it's coming towards the end of the day, I'm going to try and knock it as much as I can. I'll do another time lapse and just try and power through this thing and get as much done as I can. <laughs> Okay guys, it's 10 to 5, you all know what that means, it's time for me to close out this video, dust myself off and head home. Busy day of construction, I think I'm pretty happy with how what, what I've done, here's what it's looking like so far. So, floor, so uh, what do we got that's glued together? This piece, this piece, this piece, this piece and the big piece that goes around the outside is all glued together and then I've made the two sides this the second rear wall and this oh wait that's part of the donut so i've made this wall and these two sides not to mention it, today i you know made this big thing oh and i've also done the top but that's over here waiting for the good power file to come back because i think grant took the good power file with him when he went to do an off-site job today and that one's just shit i can't use it's not it keeps fucking up so i need to wait for that to come back but this one's this is made up all i need the power file is is to file down from this line that I've marked down to the bottom corner and then that piece will sit on top of here and then on top of all of that will go the baffle and that will be it and then obviously the subwoofer it's looking good I'm pretty happy and the roof does still close it's going good lots of space underneath it's looking good good work so far I'm just leaving this in the car um, overnight while it dries because I think having all these pieces kind of pushed stuck into here and this sitting in the car is going to force the PVA glue to set with it in the right position 
but yeah that's it that's what i've done today guys bit of a different video i realized i didn't do much uh talking or explaining or anything like that i just did time lapses most of the day mainly just because it's like sort of just nitty gritty dusty work and i don't want to be talking in and out of it maybe you guys enjoyed it who knows maybe you enjoyed hearing a little bit less in my voice than usual let me know so thank you guys for watching this video that's where i'm at with the uh, subwoofer box and the c5 corvette make sure to check out the, pl the full playlist for this car because i've done a whole bunch of other stuff um, onto this car that some of you guys may not have seen yet because you may have just tuned in now for the sub box so thank you guys for watching choose to be happy and i will catch you tomorrow kakiteano